so today we're going to start a new project and um, it's a little job we have this vase little tiny vase and uh, the bell is broken and just about half of it is missing and I don't have the pieces so we have to make this other half now as you can see I have roughly half of it and from that I will make a mold and the reason is is it's just too much if it was just a little pie shape I'd probably fill it in and and I'd have it maybe enough there that I could blend that in with the surrounding contours but when I have half of it missing I want to have this bell be perfect so what I'll do is I have enough left that I can take a mold of this intact half and it will give me this contour, this uh, compound uh, radius, the compound contour of it going around and curved this way. And also I have it thinner at the edges and thicker at the base and I want to make this piece. So what I'm going to do is make a mold of this and from that mold we can fill that with uh, uh, an epoxy that I will build this other half of the bell out of. So I'm going to make a mold and put it on here. Okay, we're back and I have my mold made. It's on here. This is a, a quick mold material where you just mix the two halves together and knead it together with your hands and, uh, and press it on here. And it is thick enough and stiff enough that I can use this to make, to fill with my epoxy putty. And it should give me the shape I need. I'll probably be a little bit more than I need, hopefully and then I'll trim that down to fit. So that's what we do next. We put the putty in here and uh, that'll take overnight to cure. So we'll be, we'll be back when we've uh, accomplished that. All right, so we've got our mold made and it's cured. I had to give it a couple of days for it to degas so that the, um, the mold as it cures has gas emanating from it and if you don't let that uh, air out first you're going to get bubbles in your mold in your casting so so I have a epoxy fill epoxy putty fill and I'm just going to cram it into this mold Pretty thick stuff. I gotta cram it in there. This will cure overnight. We'll take it out of the mold in the morning. And then there will be probably some minor fills or something I have to do to it at that point. And if we're real lucky, we don't have to do anything except trim it to fit. It's really hard to work with this putty at this stage. It's so sticky, it's sticking to my knife. And it doesn't stick to the mold, so I cram it in there and it comes right back out, stuck to the knife. So, use a little water on my finger so it doesn't stick to me. And I'll cram it. Stuff it into my mold. Okay, so now we got their, uh, our cast is made in our mold, and I'm going to take it out of here. And there's our piece that's going in. So we got some flaws to grind out of this, and I got some excess material <coughs> I'm going to grind off of this, and that's what we're going to do now. Turn on my exhaust. 
exhaust fan. That's our rough grind. We'll do a little more fine working on this and uh, then we'll start to fit it in. Alright, now I've got my casting shaped now to fit onto the top of my vase. It's very close. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I've traced the outline of this bell on this piece of cardboard and I'm going to, to keep this in alignment when I cement it together. I'm just going to tack it in place for now, but um, I will tape this cardboard to the piece keep everything in alignment while the epoxy cures so what I'm going to do is put a little tape on here I've got my epoxy mixed up already and I just want to have A bit of this epoxy a couple of places on here just to cement it in place cement it in position and then once that's secure I can fill in the gaps and and not worry about getting the alignment perfect on the first go round. So it's a lot easier just to hook to tack this in place than it is to try to glue the entire thing in one go. So what I'll do this gives me my alignment. Basically welding it in place because it's important that I get this alignment correct Tape. Bit of tape. And there it is. That'll keep it nice and flat and level. And I will
place it on a shelf like this overnight until it cures. Okay, and now it's the next day. This is set overnight, and I'm going to take the tape off. So now I'll just this is splooge out where my glue is stuck on, but we can see that all I need to do is trim that down and we'll have a nice flush level. Okay, so now that's all we need to do. We'll, I'll grind this down and fill this in again and smooth it out again. That'll go around a couple of times. And uh, that's the next okay. step. So now we need to file down this seam here where where the two meet, where I've filled it in with a filled before it was just tacked in place, and now I filled all that that edge in. And we need to file this down to meet the existing. The next day, and I have put in a finer fill, this white epoxy, and it's a little softer than this super hard stuff here, where I got my, my bell shape, and now I'm filling in the minor imperfections in that, and basically on the joint, and uh, a couple of little spots in the middle here where it's needed a little bit of film and so we just file that down even with the surface of this bell I'm gonna file it first and then finish it off with a fine sandpaper and I'll do this once or twice maybe or as many times as needed to get all the imperfections out of here. It's a very fine, whoops, very fine file. that I'll do another fill on that another fine fill we'll probably do it okay all right so now we're ready to put some paint on this today we'll do the top the blue So yesterday we did the blue on the top, now we're going to do the black underneath. Okay, that 
that's it. Clear glaze on that and protect it. We're good to go. Well, here we are finally finished with our uh, the bell rebuild on that small vase. And here it is, as you can see. About half of the top of this was gone. We made a mold and uh, made the repair. Came out very well. So we just wanted to show you um, our when, what we do when we have to make a missing piece. Uh, in this case, it was a mold made. fix. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like what you see here, please share and subscribe and, uh, and like. Thank you.